you already know this is gonna be banger when I'm posting a video about something that I am genuinely excited about. Welcome to Windblown, the single player demo that you can play right now on Steam. However, the full release early access is gonna be available in about 12 days starting today. This demo dropped last night. I was dead asleep and I woke up and I played two runs of this and I figured, you know what, why not share it with the public because I think you're gonna like it as much as I have been liking it. So, let's jump into it because there's a lot to talk about. First of all, this is made by the same people that have been working on Dead Cells for about a decade. They wanted to make a multiplayer game, here we are. This is gonna be an ARPG roguelike game where you're gonna be, be you're gonna be able to play with your friends. Um, but you're gonna be able to play with your friends as animals. So, an exotal, a basilisk, a bat, a guinea pig, and a pangolin, if that's how you say that. Um, none of these do anything in particular. Um, they're just skins, but I like to play as a guinea pig because, well, it's a guinea pig. Also, it's unique to the demo itself. So if you play the demo, you unlock yourself the guinea pig skin. On top of that, like I said, this has a roguelike sort of progression system, right? So the base, where we're at now, the hub here, which is called the Ark, is going to have a bunch of upgrades for you. So if you talk to this little wolf man, he's going to be like, hey, what's up? Give me currency and I can upgrade you. There's a lot of things to upgrade. Um, but this is the demo, so we're sort of limited to a few things. I just unlocked this little crossbow thing, which if you can see, if I'm timing my attacks right, I'm doing more damage. Look. 75, and half, and half, right? But if I'm timing them right, I'll do more damage. Also, every now and then, if I do, for example, damage to my sword or with my sword, see that little switch icon that happens with the little eyeballs in it? If I switch shooting to a different weapon or using a different weapon at the right time, yeah, my monkey brain is just like, what? <laughs> what? More please, thank you. <laughs> it is wild. It looks good. It plays sharp. As you can see, my dash is almost unlimited. Uh, it's just kind of whenever it's up, I'm, I'm dashing. Dashing is not limited to your verticality. You can pretty much dash over and on top of anything well, within a certain distance, of course. And this is, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is the hub. This is the main hub that you sort of start off in, right? This is the arc. And then similar to other roguelikes, you don't begin your expedition, begin your run, you go out into the lands and you try to get stronger, try to get as far as you can. And as I mentioned in the beginning, this is going to be focused in on multiplayer. Um, starting off though, we get to get the Kunai with us. So do we want to replace any of our starting weapons? You know what, I'm going to I'm gonna change the Kunai. Hmm. Let's, let's do this. Let's try out the Kunai slash crossbow build um so i don't know if i mentioned this but it's gonna be focused on builds certain patterns that you choose and or play styles that you enjoy playing as again similar to any roguelike more or less uh you're gonna try to you know expose the enemy for its weakness and hopefully build and or try to get something incredibly strong going um and there's also an inventory system that i should have touched on so if i press select here you can actually see what is going on right so the kunai here applies a curse percent each time we curse an enemy and if i hold down that button it actually explodes depending on how many curses they have and then the beat bolt which is my crossbow as you can see during switch i get 20 percent more damage and then fire if you fire at the right time you do critical damage so this this is what they're talking about all right if i were to switch i just have to time it right that's all the switch pretty much means use a different weapon at this point, right? Boom, boom, boom. Use a different weapon. Use a different weapon. Okay. So that's all that means. Um, I'm still getting familiar with everything. Again, I am incredibly excited. I'm going to hold that down to curse him. Oh, gosh. Okay. And uh, we're picking up currency, by the way. Right? There's there's cogs that we're picking up. I want to know if we can dash over. Okay, okay. We are limited to sort of the distance there. I did mention this is the demo, so we're gonna be limited to certain things, which are totally okay. I mean, again, being excited for this game. And not dash over there, it doesn't look like it. Is there any way I can get over there? I always also noticed that there are secrets. There we go. I love dashing through these pots. Ooh, I thought I could avoid that attack, maybe. 
the jump. Looks like I can. And treasure chest. Uh, actually, first time opening a treasure chest. And the first time seeing Raven Blade. Okay. Gives critical strikes. The third. And if you hold it, you get to do a jump attack. You know what? I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna replace the kunais. Because we already have one right. Ooh, it's lit though. But oh, that's five attacks actually. One, two, three, four, five. And then switch. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. One, two, three. Switch. Oh, okay. And then if you hold it, do a jump attack. Sweet. Follow the wind. Dude, how cool is this though? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just fanboying. Maybe I'm just fanboying. It's fine. And if I am, whatever. Screw you for hating. Um. So here I get to. So okay. So here I get to exchange 40 health to get deadly brutality. Kills activate brutality. So for 60% damage. Four seconds? Question mark. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this because I do have a potion that I can drink. Hopefully that was smart. Looks like it's actually a Wii. Which I'm assuming that if you are playing multiplayer. Go ahead and get this. So let me check up on this. Kills activate brutality. Okay. So 60% more damage for four seconds. If we kill. That trigger? Did did you guys see the damage go up? Hopefully it did. I'm just, gonna, I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna explore a little bit. I mean, I'm gonna be looking around for a bunch of stuff. I would love to get very familiar with this game. I would love to be able to come up with like strats and unlock all its little secrets. Let's use the crossbow a little bit here. Ooh. Ooh. It, it, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't. I don't know. Guitar. So those are like uh, dual knives. That is your vibe. You can get this. Which you know what? Let's switch it up. Let's let's showcase as much as we can here. We're gonna get the uh, the guitars. So we have uh, dual knives, which allow you to. Well, you have quick damage like this, right? One, two, three. But also, if you hold it down, you have a dash, which allows you to get behind your opponent. And if you get behind them, this has something called backstab, which does critical damage to your opponent. So we have. Uh, Two knives, or dual wielding knives, essentially, and a really big sword. <laughs> and I think that's those are the only weapons available in this demo. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, we're doing some damage, though. We are doing some damage. I would like to show, like... Oh, my gosh. I would like to show, like, a secret. Um, it, I, I, I happened to find one... Like, yeah, there, there's, there's, sometimes there's, there's one in, like, waterfalls, like a chest. It's so fun. It's so fun. I, I really want to play this in multiplayer, though. I would like to see. The last game that I played in multiplayer that is roguelike-y was up a game called Ember Knights. Okay, I'm about to die here. Hello. Okay. Get. Oh, yes, please. Do dodge. Encrypted memory. So an encrypted memory is something that you can unlock once you get to the end. And I'm assuming pay for it, too. We have 22 health. Not 100% sure if we can actually regain health. Based on uh, what's been happening so far and how I've been dying, I have not managed to get any more health. But I might be early in the game still. So refilling your potion might be an option. Oh, this looks scary. Dude, that that heavy attack is kind of nutty though. That heavy attack it goes kind of hard. Not gonna lie. So who's this game for, right? Honestly, anyone that likes action games, fighting games, uh, games where you can theory craft with different builds and combinations. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, mo memo mem eh? memo might dust. Also, we can boost. I already mentioned this. This is all placeholder stuff. We're gonna get maximum health, I think. I think the damage is fine. Maximum health, I think. I don't know if what just happened gave us more health. I know it gave us more maximum health, but um, sometimes in games it allows you to um, gain a little bit more health. So these icons, I'm not 100% familiar with. This though is currency. 
weapon, which you can see at the bottom right hand side of the screen. That looks like a weapon or maybe upgraded weapon and that could be more memo might dust. Not 100% sure. I'm going to go check out what this one is. Currency is meh right now. Or I should say, you know what? Not that it's meh, but it's something that I'm that I'm just familiar with that icon and I want to know what the other icons do. Oh, big attack. Slice, slice, slice. Should be dead. Dash behind this guy. Dash behind this guy. Do the crit in the back. Oh, dude, the crit goes kind of hard, actually. Right, and we need to use our altered attack if we can. Which I always forget to do. Okay, here we go. Let's see. So it is literally a weapon. Okay, so it's not an upgrade to a weapon or anything. I'm going to get the currency here. Which might have been the most unoptimized route to go. Because the other one was currency. But I'm wondering like how much current. Okay, when you hit creates an explosion. So this is the door essentially, right? If to go through this particular door right here, which loops all the way around, you need to pay for this. So when hit, when I'm hit, creates an explosion that stuns for two seconds and deals 400 of that damage. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. I mean, we have nothing to lose here. Try to explore everything and try to unlock as much as possible. Cool. When we get hit, we, uh, we explode. <laughs> I don't wanna get hit, to be honest with you. Oh my gosh, looks like I was slowed there, actually. Yep, I did those things. Yeah, uh, goo and damage foes. Ooh, I love damage over time stuff. I am, uh, I'm a big, f f like, fiend for damage over time. I love poison damage. I love burn damage, bleed to damage. Anything that has to do with damage over time, I'm a big fan. How do we use this, though? Oh, it is huge! I feel like I took a bunch of damage. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I took almost lethal damage. I have 2 HP, by the way. Um, but upon taking damage, I exploded. <laughs> Which is exactly what was supposed to happen. Fortunately, um, I don't think we're going to be able to get to the end of this run. Which I have yet to do, by the way. Because I'm just kind of just, you know, just clicking buttons and trying to unlock as much as possible. I'm not using the most optimized routing builds or whatever. Because I think, you know. This is a boss. And I just got rocked. <laughs> okay, I thought we, I thought we had it there for a second. I definitely greeted it once I went into the um, the secondary attack or the altered attack. Should have moved. I should have moved. But that's a good showcasing of what I could, of what a run could look like without spoiling too much. You know, if you get to that boss, you're gonna be able to enjoy it on your own time. <laughs> that's the best way that I can explain that mishap. I'm gonna go ahead over here because it does look like, again, placeholder art, right? This little red button is probably gonna, or red dot is probably gonna get updated. Um, so not in a demo, right? So I can't unlock this, but assuming that this was gonna be an early access, I could have probably used whatever resources that we got to be able to unlock this. Um, these are the weapons that I've managed to unlock so far, and some of the gifts. Pause the video. You can go ahead and check down. Assassinating is actually really good. I am going to head over here and see if there's anything else that I can unlock. So we need 100, which we do have. So now we have backstabber. Backstab damage is another additional 25 damage. So now taking that under consideration. Oh, we can actually get the health flask updates. That allows me to use my health flasks twice. Cycling is not in the demo. Shell reserves is not. There's going to be a lot of things that are not in the demo, which is fine. Again, more things to come down the road, which is something that I, you know, made a note about early on in this video. It's it's twin motion, right? Or motion twin. Wait, I don't want to butcher them. Motion twin. I, I confirm. It is motion twin. And based on their experience and the, uh, the history of the games that they've produced and the content that they've made for Dead Cells, I feel like this game has a shot to be able to um, live past 
its initial release and hopefully with more content to come um i would like to be able to try out weapons and i think eventually they're going to have some sort of like armory here where you can try out the different weapons the one that we just got or that upgrade that we just got um what was it called backstab i think it's going to go really good with an I mean, it shows the art there, the two kunais, because this, the, the thing that we just had during that last one, plus Backstabber, seems pretty freaking good. Anyways, my name's just sketchy. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. I, I'm just going to, uh, you know what? I'm going to end this video. I'm going to hop over on Twitch and stream this because I've been enjoying myself. Um, I'll catch you guys later and have a good day. Peace.